Um, what do you hope to achieve with the Secretary of State heading not only to Ukraine, but then later to Geneva to meet with um, Lavrov, especially since you know talks with, over Ukraine aren't exactly going all that well right now? Um, well, let me just give you a, a little bit of an update on where things stand. And obviously, you're following this closely. But this morning, Secretary Blinken uh, spoke with Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov. They agreed to meet in Geneva, uh, as you as you noted. At that meeting, uh, Secretary Blinken will urge Russia to take immediate steps to de-escalate. Uh, he will also fly to Kyiv to consult with President Zelensky and Ukraine's leaders and to Germany for consultations. As you also know, there is a congressional delegation that is also uh, on their way there. Um, and it's a note. It's an, I would note that that just indicates that support for Ukraine has always been a bipartisan issue, and we welcome that. But where things stand right now, President Putin has created this crisis by amassing 100,000 Russian troops along Ukraine's borders. This includes moving Russian forces into Belarus recently. Uh, for joint exercises and conducting additional exercises on Ukraine's eastern border. So let's be clear. Our view is this is an extremely dangerous situation. We are now at a stage where Russia could at any point launch an attack in Ukraine. Uh, and what Secretary Blinken is going to go do uh, is highlight very clearly there is a diplomatic path forward. It is the choice of President Putin and the Russians to make whether they are going to suffer severe economic consequences or not. Uh, go ahead. Oh, let me go around to people who have questions. Go ahead. Uh, Trevor. Uh, could you, when you're talking about um, kind of this meeting that uh, the Secretary of State is going to have with Sergei Lavrov, what is the, um, is, is there an expectation that he's going to provide some sort of response to the issues that were raised in the uh, January 10th uh, meeting? Oh, well, uh, again, I don't have anything for you to specifically preview on the behind the scenes negotiations and discussions, but our position uh, has been crystal clear uh, from the beginning, the position of the President and the Secretary of State, that there are two paths. There's a diplomatic path forward. We, we certainly hope they take that path. There's the other path. It is up to the Russians to determine which path they're going to take, and the consequences will be severe if they don't take the diplomatic path. Consequences. There has been reporting out of Europe that um, uh, essentially this idea that's been floated about taking Russia out of the SWIFT financial payment system is basically off the table at this point. Is that accurate? No option is off the table. In our view, we continue consulting closely with European counterparts on severe counter consequences for Russia if it further invades Ukraine. And do you have a commitment from the German government that they will uh, end the Nord Stream 2 pipeline? Uh, I think, as you know, uh, it is not functioning currently. You've seen the steps uh, that they have taken uh, recently. Uh, the pipe, uh, Germany's federal network agency has suspended cert the certification process as well of Nord Stream 2. Um, and our view continues to be that stopping the Nord Stream 2 pipeline is a critical, credible piece uh, we hold over Russia at this point in time, especially since it is not functioning. And if sanctions are imposed right now, uh, which some are proposing, and Russia views these sanctions as a sunk cost, then this would be one less consideration in its calculus. So of course, we're consulting closely uh, with all of our partners and allies in this. But I would just note again uh, that the pipeline's not operational, that Germany's federal network agency has suspended the certification process. Go ahead. Thanks. Um, staying on Ukraine and Russia, what does the White House make of the ev evacuation of uh, Russian diplomatic staff from their embassy in Kiev, and do you think the threat of invasion is getting higher or lower? Well, I think, as I noted a few minutes ago, we believe we're now at a stage where Russia could at any point launch an attack on Ukraine. Uh, I would say that's more stark than we have been. Uh, in terms of the decision uh, to move um, uh, if, uh, to move it, uh, to evacuate their embassy or to move personnel out of their embassy. We have information that indicates uh, the Russian government was preparing to evacuate their family members from the Russian embassy in Ukraine in late December and early January. Uh, we certainly would refer, refer you to uh, them for more specifics uh, about what their decision is, but we don't have an assess assessment on why in the meaning. 